Um, this is a, a tail spike from a stegosaurus. So it's a, a spike that would have sat at the end of a stegosaurus's tail. There were four of them. The tail would be coming towards me, if you like, and these spikes would be sticking out like that. Um, there was some debate about um, the armour, how the armour was arranged, so this sort of thing. Were there eight spikes at the end of the tail? Were there two rows of plates? Were there one row of plates? But actually, there's been some discoveries in the 80s uh, which... Um, uh, had completely preserved individuals, so they all the bones are in the right place. And so we now know exactly how the plates are arranged and how the spikes are arranged at the end of the tail. Yeah, okay, so um, I guess, you know, when you see these beautiful dinosaurs in, the, in exhibit halls in museums, you think, wow, that's how, they, that's how they're found. You know, there they are lying out in the ground, this beautiful dinosaur. But actually, in the vast majority of cases, we find, well, not even a bone like this. We probably find, like, this much of that bone. And that's all we know about the animal. Um, what might happen is that this a little bit might weather out of the cliff. Now, typically the bone might be harder than the rocks around it. So you might get like a little bit sticking out of the a cliff or a rock like this. And you go in and you dig around and you dig around and you dig around and you find and you expose a bone. Um, and then you dig around it and you dig around it and you dig around it and there's nothing else. So that would be a typical situation. Um, and that's the vast majority of dinosaurs are known from a few fragments of bone, nothing more. Um, it's very rare to find a complete preserved individual, or even a partially um, preserved individual. Um, but they're the really important ones to help us understand exactly what these animals look like, obviously, because we need to know how their bones were arranged.